Hey everyone, this is Devanshi Kisnawani and welcome to my channel Code Disk. Today we will see maps in C++. These are the containers which are very much useful when solving a key value pair problem. So let's see from the very basic what is map. So it is a container just like your array vector. It is also a container defined in C++ STL container part. It is used to store elements in key value pair. Key value pair means that you will have a key and that key will be associated or pointing or mapping to a value. Then no two map values can have the same key. That means a map cannot have same keys multiple times that means if if i say if i create a key value pair of let's say 5 is a key and it is map to let's say 2 so here 5 is our key and 2 is uh, the value of the 5 or the key so 5 is being mapped to 2 now if i say again 5 mapping to 1 so this is not possible that means you can't have two key, two keys having the same key value. I hope it is clear. So no two map values can have the same key values. Then the these maps are stores in stores the keys in a ascending order by default. So that that's what stores in a sorted order so this was about a map then there are uh, different types of map available first is a regular map which we are talking about it stores unique keys uh, that means the there will be no two keys having different values then it is uh, the keys are stored in sorted order and this is how we declare our map we'll we'll see we'll do a hands-on uh, hands-on of this then comes the multi map as told uh, in the previous map we were having unique keys in this multiple keys value pair is allowed that means here if you have let's say uh, in multi map if you have five uh, its value is 2 then also you can have a one more key of the same uh, pointing to some different value let's say 1 so here you have multiple keys are allowed here you see here multiple keys are allowed here so that is what multi map is it is also stores in sorted order and this is how we declare our multi map then comes the unordered map here uh, it is same as the regular map this one where unique keys are allowed and it is stored in any order and it is implemented using hash means keys are uh, implemented using hash and it is how we create the unordered map okay so let's try to do a hands-on uh, on maps so first to use map we should include a header file which is simply map so this way you can use a map now then let's create a namespace then in main function I will say so we need to, to declare first map so map we will use then here we are going to specify what type of data object we want we want that means we can define int int that means here this first is key this is key and this is value but if you want you can use another like you can use a string as a key then you can use double and maybe it is a specifying a string so this is how uh, you you define or declare your map 
key and value and these can be any data type so let's go with in for simple understanding so this is how this is key this is value and i will now declare the variable name i will call it my app so map is now declared let's try to insert some key value pair so it, to insert in key value pair we say my map dot insert then in braces now here we are going to write our pair key value so i will say pair then use this angular braces and then again i will define the object type here it is indent and in the brackets i will write the key value now so let's call make this two and four so again here this is key this is value my map then to insert in my in map we say by specifying pair the object type and then we put this in this is the key value so 2 is here key and 4 is our value let's go on inserting more again we'll do this pair then int int then this 22 and 3 i am just filling it in a random order and it should be just copy this there yeah. This time let's fill in 1 and 3 and let's fill this time now 15 and 2. So I have filled in any random order and, uh, and this is one duplicate element I have with the duplicate key. So let's see it is going to map or not and now to to iterate over these container there is iterator which help us to iterate over the map so first we will include that header file iterator then i will define the iterator here ID and it has to take map so map and so we have now our map uh, iterator to iterate we will say for iterator equal my map dot begin so it is going to point on the first and it has to go until it reaches the end so my map dot end and will increase and will display so how are we gonna display now first we need to display the key and uh, uh, the key and then the value so the key to to, to take to it make the iterator point on the key we say that like this we write iterator it then use the arrow function not arrow function we use the arrow uh, this arrow and write first then to point on the value we'll again use this and we'll write second we'll write second And this is how we iterate and let's uh, use the IO string here this is for uh, where you see also we need input output to the string now let's try to run this and see Okay. So 
okay so now here is my key value pair this is this is keys and these are values and you see i have i inserted in a random order but it is in a sorted ascending order it is in sorted order the keys are in sorted order 1 2 15 and 21 and there is a repetition of value here you see but still it is not inserting it if i change even the value it is still not inserting it because the regular maps doesn't allow multiple keys to be stored now there is another way also of uh, inserting in map so that is using the index like notation which we use in arrays so here we write my map and then the rectangular braces and here i write the key so let's take key this time as 11 and value as uh, now here we write value so value as 4 and it has been inserted so this is how we insert in map and this is how we go now there are some functions which uh, i like to bring here and first is my map dot clear it clears the it clears the map so no nothing is there now now suppose you want to erase some keys then how we can do that so let's say let's erase 15 15 key so to erase we'll say my map dot erase and we'll pass the key 51 and this 51 will be no more available okay, 51 is now not available Oh, actually this is 15 not 51 15 so i will remove 15 so 15 is not no more there so and there are like many functions and uh, as you go on encountering you can e always check the documentation and i will also specify here one more function which is lower bound lower bound it returns the value which is uh, present or it gives the next return value so i will say that i will use the auto keyword auto i and i will say my map dot lower bound and we'll pass that value. If you have any problem to understand this lower bound, I have a video of that. You can check that. You will I will get the video link in the description. But what does the lower bound do? It, it gives the value past value. If that value is present in the map, it is going to give otherwise it is going to give the next hand value so if i pass here let's say 11 and i i want to know i want to know now since 11 is present here so we will get 11 right if i pass 10 then 10 then 10 is not available in here the key 10 is not available so it is going to give the next higher just next higher value of 10 so which is 11 so this time also we will get 11 so now to get catch hold of the catch hold of the key we say we difference d difference the pointer by using star i and then i will write dot first and we will have the 11 display see 11 is displayed now if you want the its uh, value then 4 is displayed 11 4 so this is how you use lower bound in the maps so this was a regular map now suppose if you want to have the multiple multiple keys to be stored multiple keys so we'll say multi map in that case we will use multi map to store multiple keys uh, 
Um, multi map you don't actually. So yeah, that was not the way to insert in multi map. So we have this multi map now. So my map dot insert, and you see we have inserted the, the these duplicate keys, and they are still available here. And it is also the keys are sorted in ascending order. So this is how a multi map works, and it has uh, all those functions which are uh, available in regular maps. So you know you may be now seeing the pattern. If you have for uh, if you have followed my previous videos from where which I have started, what is iterator, what is uh, sets, then coming to map, then lower bound, all this the, the these containers are all following the pattern. So it is advisable if you watch the previous videos if you have any issue in understanding here and that is pretty much about the maps.